off. You're willing to make a party. You're willing to do everything for this fat and son. Oh my God. His father have to go back in the, in the depth of his love. He have to pull out the depth of his heart to say to his older son, all that we have here is yours. The material thing where you are look upon and are talk about why you are going to describe your sister or why you are going to describe your brother lay it aside and focus upon Almighty God. Let your attention be on him. And so the father said, look here. All that I have is yours. My beloved brothers and sisters, our words, our words values very much. Our words. Be careful. Your attitudes hmm, determine your altitude. Amen. You want to go high? It's your attitude. People look at you. People look at you by your behavior. People look at you by your behavior. Let me tell you. When the boy was in the pig's pen, where did they look at him? Look at me. Look at me if you don't know. They was looking where? Yes, they were looking down at him. Right? When he received instructions from his fellow youth, you know where they see him? You want me to tell you where they see him? Right here. Right beside him. When he was down in the pig pen, do you know where he is? See his father? Are you with me? So people in life will look at you. You determine where you want to be. You determine where you want people to see you. If you want people to see you down there, go down there. If you want people to see you at their level, be there. If you want people to look up at you. Because this happens in life. A package is in here for you today. Because we believe that we serve a mighty God. This boy believed that everything was down for him. Everything was over for him. But he serves a mighty God. And as long as he was willing to acknowledge to that mighty God. As long as he was willing to say, God I have sinned. And come short of your glory. Anoint me one more time. This broken vessel, dear God, remold it. Remold it and fashion it. Make it into the instrument that you want to use. Because in God's house, there are many instruments. There are vessels of honor and there are vessels of dishonor. When people look on vessels of dishonor, they don't look on it on the table. <laughs> I don't get a respond. When people look at in instruments of dishonor, vessels of dishonor, they do not look on it on the dining table. It's not its place. Are you with me? The dining table is not the place for the vessel of honor. Are you with me? Knife and fork and dishes and so on. That's what is for that place. The vessel of honor is a vessel of honor, but it has its. Amen. 
And so in the house of God, what do you want to be? Do you want to be the servant that the father called to kill the fatted calf? Do you want to be the prodigal son that is returning for blessings and forgiveness for his father? Do you want to be the son that was there and never leave? Do you want to be a slave in the house of God? What do you want to be? Fashion yourself. Choose in his day who he shall serve. And if God be God, serve him as God. And look at the difference that he is going to bring into our lives. Look at the transformation that happens to this boy from the pig's bed. Once he acknowledge, he find back him status as a son. Acknowledgement is a very great thing. In losing status, in losing position, but once he acknowledge, God was willing and able to return to him and give him more. A special robe that was made and kept at the house was given to who? Was given to him. I could have bet my bet dollar that it was not it was not a prop can ring that the father sent for to put on his finger. And I don't think it was a brass. And I hardly believe it was silver. I have, I have a strong inclination to believe that it was pure gold. Are you with me, church? Yes. He did not get a gift of pure gold before from his father. But acknowledging and returning to imposition until God used me. God burn him to be used. So, prepare yourself. To be used by God. Make ready yourself as an instrument to be used by him. Somebody look down on the slave. I said so a while ago. In Asian society you have those. A slave. And you have what is also called a bond slave. A servant in the house of God. Negotiate. A servant in my house. Negotiate with me. A slave in my house is ordered. I have no right to negotiate. I wonder if you listen. I wonder if you understand what I just say. The slave have no right to negotiate. The slave cannot say, I am coming to work 8 o'clock. You are a slave. You are always there. Whenever time you are called, you must be there. You are a what? A slave. And if you are a born slave, it means that you were born on the compound of the boss by a bought slave. So you were born there, you come a born slave. You understand? And so the servant who serves will tell you that, all right, I will serve from 8 o'clock this morning to 4 o'clock this evening. He have condition because he's a servant. Are you with me? So when you're coming to the house of God, come to serve. That's what Jesus said. He did not come to be served. He come to do what? To serve others. And in the house of God, if you're a slave, make it your duty to be a slave. Make it your duty for the purpose of God, take your, your duty at the assembly serious. Are you with me? If you're appointed to turn the lights on in this assembly, take your appointment seriously. I said, if you're appointed to be responsible for this art in this house, your responsibility is secret and must be taken.
seriously. If you're appointed as a deacon or a deaconess, a minister of whatever sort, take your appointment seriously. If you are called to be a brother, if you are called to be a sister, take your calling seriously. Oh my God. Beloved, if you come to church, come seriously. This is not a place to play and run. This is a place to give God what he creates us to give him. The whole duty of man is to do what? Fear God and serve him. And so, this lesson that we looked on here today is one of great teaching for us. That which we have in our hands, cherish it. And don't let for any little reasons. Paul says, principalities, our powers, things present, our things to come, shall not separate me from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Let no husband, let no wife, we were just talking about a while ago, the son and father, let no children separate you from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. The younger brother was not well welcomed by his older brother. Let no brother or no sister prevent your light from shining. You're appointed to shine as a light that is set upon a hill. And you don't give light some time. You don't work like moon. Are you with me? You don't work like moon. I am not the moon Christian. I only give my light certain time. Or get my light from another satellite to shine. Are you with me? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. You are a light. Being shined on directly by God. And so when you come to glory, when you come to gloom, move the bushes. Move the shrubs. Move the apps that prevent your light from being seen by others. Move the curtains. Are you hearing me? Put your light at a good place to be seen. And know that you're a light. You're a light because of the word. The word that you hear is now coming through in your life. Because you're manifesting it in your daily living. As I walk, I walk light. As I talk, I talk light. Every move I make, I eliminate darkness. Every move I make, I eliminate darkness. So all obstacles a family curse have to come out of my way. All demons is reversed. 
all curse turn back because I am a light set there by almighty God and I hear somebody said keeps the fire burning keep the fire burning let your light so shine before men that they will see your good works and be led to glorify who? Your Father which is in heaven. Nobody wants you when you're down. Nobody wants you. But let me tell you, there is one man there that is stretching out his hand and saying to the world whosoever will may come he said behold I stand at your heart door and I will knock whosoever open unto me oh my God Whosoever open unto me. You know, there are some persons who are coming into the house of God and coming with lack heart. Lack, I didn't say black. Lack. Heart fix. When you come to the house of God, you come to the source of life. You come to what? The source of of life and all lacking in your life spiritual or physical is released amen amen, amen. and so we come today we come for deliverance do you know do you know that the devil the devil hear and believes? Do you know that the demons hear and believes? You know, I was somewhere last week and I heard some people deliberating and talking about if demons die. If demons die. I may not believe in a hit. And the spirit of God rose in me. And I, I said to the prophet, if you don't believe that demon is, you will not get power to cast it out. Are you with me, church? I say, if you do not believe that demons exist, you will not get the power to cast it out. Because of lack of belief, a lot of us could have cast out with demons without you call pastor or deacon or deaconess to pray. Jesus sent out the disciple and then pray and could move certain situation, you know. And when Jesus go and pray, the situation move. And they ask Jesus the question, why? Why couldn't it happen when we pray? And Jesus said, these kind cannot go without fast and prayer. And he continued to say that if your faith is as much as a mustard seed, you could move mountains. Because a lot of us have these mountains in our lives. When the Almighty God speak to move mountains, he was not speaking of blue mountains or John Crow mountains or the Dan Figueros mountains. He was speaking of the obstacles in our life. That comes as mountain before us. When you look this morning and see the piles of bill, sometimes it's taller than a mountain. When you look at your health situation, sometimes it's taller than a mountain. Because you have diabetes, you have blood pressure, you have. So one, one preacher said you have sugar and salt. <laughs> because. Diabetes is sugar and high blood pressure is salt. 
<laughs> so you say you, you have sugar and you have salt and you have lack of circulation and when you don't just unhealth alone the amount of obstacle that before you is more than a mountain but if you pray and go to God you don't believe you will get healing yes you will God was not expecting you to pray and move blue mountain and kill some people who live on it or to move down Figaro's mountain and make some people can't get road for God and yard. So he was obviously not speaking of that. He was speaking of the problems that we have in our life and see them too big for us and our God. Because we lack faith. We lack faith. I see David. I see David being criticized by his wife, Mishael. I see David bringing the ark of God back to Israel. And when he, when he was bringing the ark of God back to Israel and he was successful, he danced. He danced and praised and glorified God and his wife. You hear her talk about your mouth a while ago? In the very relationship in the house, there is criticism against husband and wife. As close as that. Are you with me? And while David was rejoicing, his wife sit upstairs and she point her finger. I would that. Now my husband David, I go on like one ordinary Man, you might go on like a commoner down there. Do you know that she was made barren for it? She could not have a child because of the comments she made against her own husband. <laughs> Read the scriptures. You have to be careful. Make sure when you're going to speak that you speak correctly. False comments. Is not proper against nobody at all, not even your enemy. Not even whom? Not even an enemy. Don't speak something false or lie, not even against an enemy. You will not be blessed for it. You will not go unpunished for it. I speak to us today as a body of Christ. I speak to us today as people who are yearning for God to fill our needs. And today, being in his house, today, hearing from the Lord, I hope and I pray that we will make the application in our lives. And that the application we make in our lives will be seen externally. And that we come today to hear the words will not be just mere hearers but we will be doers so we are going to be leaving this place today as role models we are going to be leaving this place today as example lazetas we are going to be walking today peculiar let your name be nay and your yea be yea and if you make a vow to God if you make a vow to God keep your vow God is going to test you God is going to test you and make it look as if your vow is hard because when you vow something, it must take some efforts. When you're giving something, you must give something with substance. You must give something with value. You must give something that is precious. Are you with me? So when you make your vow to God that you will serve him, what you must do? Serve him. When you make your vow with God and say, God, this is yours. I'm going to give it to you. 
God do. Just bless me. And give, put it in my hand, make me give you back. Just put it in my hand and make me give it to you back. Yes, God do it. <laughs> when God do it, you know. Father, permit me to taste this water, please. So me taste a little. You understand? And then me give it back to God. That was not the deal. That was not the deal. If you can make the sacrifice and don't taste it. Are you with me? And give it back to God as you had promised. The lady went up to the temple man. And she prayed. She said, God give me a son. Anna. She went up and she prayed. She said, God give me a son. And if you give me the son, when he's born, what I'm going to do? I'm going to give him back to you. And she did. She gave him back. But if you read over in the book of Acts and read the story of Ananias and Sapphira, you're going to get a different story and vow. Because they vowed and tell God, say, all right, a piece of land here, we are going to sell it. And when we sell it, we are going to turn over the money and when they sell it and they turn over the money it look big <laughs> the money look big so in this side all right me i go put a portion on one side and carry the rest when the husband enter the temple he tell a lie and drop dead about 20 minutes after the wife come in and do what tell the same lie and drop dead over a simple vow that was theirs. Over a simple vow that was theirs. And God had greater blessing in store for them than what they had sold to give to them, the church. You understand? So they only get in the way of God for nothing. I have spoken enough. And I think it's a time for another intercessional prayer from the speaker.